Hi, 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 hi everybody and happy Sunday. How's everybody doing today? Is everybody staying cool? It's like 160 degrees out there. I know it's an exaggeration, but it is hot. It's a good, that means it's perfect weather for indoor talking, right? I think so. I think this is perfect weather for indoor talking. Here's what I'm going to do today. I am starting to, well, I took note of, uh, and maybe you probably have rooms where you're thinking, hmm, this wall, I think this wall needs something. I think that wall needs something. And maybe a lot of us I know are working from home that typically aren't working from home. And maybe you need a little bit of inspirational artwork on the wall or maybe somebody just graduated high school this year or college this year. I just have, the reason I bring this up is a friend um, contacted me over the weekend and she said my, you know, my granddaughter graduated and um, she's redoing her room and I want, I have this surface here that I want to put something inspirational on it for her. So I said, I, I have I have just the thing for you. So Vicki, if you're watching, this is the one that we talked about. So, and the, there's a dual purpose to this too. I mean, there's lots of purposes to our, our transfers. They can be used on so many different surfaces. Like this would be perfect. This would be really nice on a t-shirt. It's nice on a chalkboard. It's nice on a painted surface. Um, there's just so many things that you can do with this. Um, she gave me the dimensions of the piece she wants to do, and it's not exactly this size, but this will still work, and I'll explain a little bit later how that's going to work. But um, this one says Dream Bigger, and here's why this is extra special. This is a lots of love transfer, and what that means is that we have transfers that if you purchase them two dollars for our every purchase goes to what's of love and what's of love is the charity that um Chakator has partnered with to bring light um to people who need it the most so it goes to a good cause and they're all lovely transfers and inspirational for the most part and i thought this was a good one to do on this sunday because like I said, I have some spaces, I'm in my chalk room. So this is a work area for me. And um, you know, I have goals and we all have goals and we all have things we're working towards and things like that. So, and the same with my friend's granddaughter. So I thought the message on this one, Dream Bigger, is a good message for a lot of people. So this is what we're gonna do. The chalkboard, the surface that I'm using is this one, and I'm going to make sure that I've got my hanger at the top because if you've watched me for any length of time, you know that sometimes I forget to, to look to see where that hanger is and I've ended up having to put a hanger on the other end because I've done it upside down, but it, it's, it's okay. <laughs> It works out anyway. So thanks for joining. If you're new here, my name is Jeannie. I am a an independent designer with Chaka Tour, also the blogger behind Create and Babble. I like to make pretty things and make things pretty. And the way I do that for the last two plus years is with Chaka Tour with using our chalk and uh, transfer. So that's what I'm showing you today, this pretty project. We're gonna make okay this transfer happens to be eight and a half by 11 it is available it's uh 14.99 if anybody is interested in recreating what i'm gonna make today look for links in the description when we're done and i will do that for you okay so the first thing i'm going to do this transfer has not been used yet so i will get a marker and mark the back of this just with a simple back. Here's why, if you're new, you're not gonna know this. There is a backer sheet to these transfers. The transfers are silkscreen reusable. You can call them a stencil if you want to, but they're called transfers. They're not a stencil because they're a silkscreen here. It's not open like a regular stencil and they're reusable. And when you're done using it, you wash it, let it dry, and you put it back on the shiny side of this backer sheet. And so I mark the back of the backer sheet. So I know quickly during cleanup what side this goes back down on. All right, like I said, they're reusable. They're reusable because they're sticky on the back. 
So I'm going to remove this. And this is brand new, never been used, so it's going to be really sticky. So a good thing to do is to lay it down on a fuzzing cloth or terry cloth or your jeans and lay it down and pick up a little layer of fuzz on the back. Just get some lint on there. And what this does is it allows the transfer to remo be removed from your hard surface easier and it, your transfer will live longer. Transfers can be used eight to 12 times. And if you take really good care of them, like I do mine, you may even get more uses than that. This particular design that I'm using called Dream Baker is one layer. That means it's all one piece. There's no other layers that we're going to wait for a layer to dry. And you'll see those later this week. I'll be doing some of those, but this is just all one design. Now I could do this all in one color and it would be awesome. Like I could use it all in white and that would be great. But I have decided to use more than one color on this. And you can see I've got four chalk base colors out because I love color. So I've got white, I've got current jam, I have peony, and I have eucalyptus. So it's a, a light green color. I have decided to do all the leaf portions in uh, the, the, the light green color. So I'm going to open this up, add a bit, and I should have checked to see if this color is still called eucalypt. They change the colors out every now and then. But they come out with similar ones. And I should have checked. I didn't check this in the catalog to see if this is still available or if you have to look for a different name. But I'll let you know. I'll put the links to everything I'm using in the description once I'm done. So I'm just giving this a stir. And the chalk paste should be about the consistency of Greek yogurt. If it's not, you just add a little bit of distilled water and stir it up. And that's it. All right, so I'm using my stir stick. And I'm just grabbing some of it and laying it down on one of the leaf areas. Then, using one of our rubber squeegees, I'll spread this out, covering up the silk screen areas of the leaf pattern. Being careful not to get into where the flowers are because I think I'll use different colors on those. So just spreading this out, covering up the silk screen, getting it thin enough that I can see the design underneath. And then because we wanna lift the transfer while the chalk paste is still wet, I'm gonna go ahead while I have just a portion of it done and just lift this transfer up. Just to kind of break the seal is what I kind of call it, okay? And then I'll lay it back down gently. Okay. My hair's still wet, it's dripping. Okay. Next, I'll move on and do some more of the, the leaf pattern before I get into any other colors. So I'll just grab some with my squeegee. We went to a pool. Here's the thing. We don't have a pool. We live in a condo. There's no pool here. So we found, I may have told you this already, but we found this um, rec center pool that they decided to open, but only allow 30 people in at a time. This is a public pool I would never go to because they get too crowded, but because they're allo only allowing 30 people at a time, it's awesome. You have, you know, you have this great big pool and only 30 people, like it's great. It's, <laughs> that's a one benefit to all of this. It's the only one really, but um, yeah, it's a, it, it, during regular summers, it would be so crowded I'd have no desire to go. It's a pool that I took my oldest to, who's now well into his 30s. I took him when he was 
and diapers to the baby pool. Um, it's really nice. It's a really nice big pool and there's only 30 people in it, so it's great. If you're lucky enough to have your own pool, I'm jealous. All right, let's get the excess chalk paste off and put it back in the jar. And then I'm going to quickly do the same thing on this side, is just peel this up before this chalk paste dries. Cause the transfers are kind of like, work like um, painter's tape. You want, um, you want to remove painter's tape while the paint's still wet. It's the same principle with the transfer and the chalk paste. Now the chalk paste does go on wet, dries hard, and once it's dry, if you're new, it um, it's not smudgeable. Like you can wipe your hands over and it's not going anywhere once it's dry. But when it's wet, you kind of have to leave it alone. Okay, I have four flowers on here and I have the words dream bigger. So let's think about this. I think I'll do, <sighs> these two flowers seem to be the same and these two seem to be the same. So I am going to do the peony on the big, the two big flowers and then the darker pink on these two. All right, this, Peony color looks like it needs a little bit of water. Let me give this a stir. I will have a guest with me um, the next couple of days. And it's not Melanie. Those of you that watch Melanie, my granddaughter with me, her brother's coming instead. It's his turn. Um, so he's 12, so he might be too cool for this. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see if he's too cold to do this with, with me this week. You know how, you know, pre-teenagers are. We'll find out. And his sister will be jealous because she loves doing this. Okay, let's get this peony flower done. And then we'll move on to this one. I still have enough chalk paste left on this squeegee before we move on to the smaller ones. Okay, this will go back in the jar. And let's lift this up. We're almost done, we're, we're getting there. I like this surface for anybody that's wondering. This is, uh, I'll put a link to this too. You have a choice of a black frame or a white frame and this surface is reusable. So when I get tired of looking at this, I can put something different on it. I could just wash this all off and do something different, but I love the black frame. It's, it's a little distressed. You can see some of the distressing along the edges. I really like it. It's one of my favorites. All right, let's move on to the current jam and get these little flowers on. I'm just making sure they're adhered well enough. My current jam seems to be in good shape. No water needed. And let's lift that this way and then that way. All right, then the last thing I have to do are the words, dream bigger. And I wanna do those in white. Let me grab a, a wipe to get my multi-tool clean. I love this. This is like my favorite tool. It's got this little squeegee end and then the stirring part at the other end. This is perfect for getting in tight spots. Okay, like this one. Because, you know, I'm going to get close to those leaves on this small font. And here's how this will work on a smaller... If you have a surface that's smaller than this, no problem. You don't have to get the whole thing in. Like, I know my friend, you know, she says she has a, an 8x8. Eight eight. This will work perfectly on it. You just do what fits. Okay. I 
make sure I've got all my silk screen covered. Looks like I do. Get this smoothed out. Okay. Let's remove it. Oops, I look like I smeared my my B. I'll show you how I fix that. But isn't that pretty? All right, even with my smeared B, that is really pretty. Okay, so how I prefer to fix these smudges is with one of those um, the Q-tips that are tightly wound. Do you know what I mean? I don't know what they're called, but they're the Q-tips that have the real tight cotton. And I just wipe I just wipe off the smeared part or sometimes what I do is I wait for the chalk paste to dry and then I just chip it off with my fingernail. <laughs> you could do whatever you want, but I'll show you how this cleans up. And that's how you fix the smudge. And there it is. Isn't that pretty? That is so pretty. And I, I, this is a good one um, for anybody that, you know, you work for yourself or you have a home-based business. Um, speaking of which, if anybody wants to have a home-based business like I do, a chocolate tour, let me know. Just stay biz and I'll give you some information on that. But, you know, no matter what it is, no matter what stage you are in your life, if you just need a little encouragement every day, how about that? Dream bigger. No matter what it is, it's just a good message to see every day. So there it is. Thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I'm going to have more inspirational kind of pieces coming up all week long. So make sure that you come back. Thanks for watching. I really do appreciate it. Thanks for sharing. I appreciate that too. That's the best compliment you can give me is to share um, this video so that your friends see and more people can find out about Chaka Tour. If you are interested in trying it, you've never tried it before, we have awesome Try Me kits. Just say try and I'll send you a couple of links to information that you can read about trying them. I'd be happy to give you those. Um, and it'll also have information about our monthly club too. All right, that is it. I am looking forward to spending some time with my grandson for a couple of days and hopefully you'll get to meet him. All right, everybody, have a good rest of your Sunday and we'll see you tomorrow.